Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, I'm uh, really chugging along on my journey, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that the weather here in the fall has turned into cold and wet, so there's not a lot of outdoor activity. I have been playing as much tennis as I can, down to 40 degrees, which is definitely a challenge, but <clears throat> it uh, certainly prepares you for when you're playing indoors when it's warm. So this is another pen, yes, what a surprise. But this pen has an interesting story behind it. This is a pen that I thought I had already received, and I thought they might have sent me the wrong pen, but I didn't know until this pen showed up. So uh, this is the eBay auction, and here is the pen. Yes, it came in a plastic sleeve. And yes, it's a Kaigaloo 316, but it's in a different finish gray finish, I call it a smoke finish, even more stately than the ivory one or pearl one that I reviewed before which I had confused with this pen. So let's take a look at the other Kaigaloos that I have and explore a little bit about how I got in this situation. So one thing that I had forgotten about is that Kaigaloo has a screw-in converter. This is the converter that was on my original one, which I got a number of years ago. And here's the one that I recently got. And there is no threads. When I look into the section, the threads are there. So this screw-in converter works in all the pens, as well as this push-in converter. So if you look at these two converters, my comment is I'd much prefer this version of it, even though it doesn't screw in. It's held in very tightly, very securely. It's not coming out, so there's no need for a screw-in converter. But, you know, it's interesting that that change was made. And here's a picture from the eBay auction which shows a screw-in converter, but it wasn't shipped with one. So here are my three Kaigaloo 316 pens, which I think are phenomenal pens. When I received the ivory one, I thought it was the gray one that had been shipped. But really, the ivory one was sent in place of this other Kaigaloo pen that has a check design. So I have reordered that pen in blue because I already have that pattern in my hidden path from PenBBS. But I'm happy with this pen, even though I got it by accident. And I'm certainly happy with this latest pen. And it has that, you know... 180 degree chatoyancy to it. So the rod apparently was, you know, done in a sheet at some point in time, and the pearlescence material is in in a certain orientation. So if you look at the pen one way, it looks like pretty much a black pen. But as you turn it around, oh, there's a party in the back. There's definitely some very interesting chatoyancy going on. Everything about this pen is identical to the other pens. I'm expecting this medium, get out of there you cable, I'm expecting this medium Kaigaloo nib to write as well as all the other ones that I have. So that concludes this short video. I just wanted to explain that I have too many pens, I order too many pens and I do get confused. Hopefully you don't get confused like I do, but these are three beautiful pens. If you like a big, heavy pen, you can't go wrong with these. Um, so, have at it. Hope you enjoyed this short view. Thank you for watching. May you have many great pen experiences. It's a phenomenal variety of pens out there that we're privileged to be able to acquire and use and not have to mortgage the house to get it. So that's to me is the plus plus of this adventure. So have a wonderful day, have a great life, enjoy it in all the different aspects and all the variety that this world gives us. Until next time, bye.